guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alex from Alex's Innovations. Today I'm going to be making a tutorial for a bracelet that is very simple, but looks very elegant with multicolored thread. Today I'm going to be featuring thread from Lily, who owns Downtown Bracelets. You can find her on Instagram, and she is sponsoring this video. She sent me eight of her custom dyed multicolored thread for me to try. You can purchase all of these bracelets at Lily's Etsy, Downtown Bracelets, which I've left a link to both her Instagram and her Etsy shop in the description down below. This is a cute little picture card that she sent with all of the different colors as well as their names. I love the sunset one, it's so vibrant. Look at that, it's like, it really sticks out. And of course, this one, this one is called Grassy. It's super cool, it has this subtle change between light greens and darker greens, but it's really cute. Also this rainbow, it's really cool because it's not really that bright of a rainbow, but it's more subdued and that actually gives it a more like a modern. It, it looks like I'm looking at a painting. Or I love galaxy, I love space in general, and I've never made a space bracelet, unfortunately, but I, this I'm definitely going to be making a bracelet with this one soon. Buzz, I think is inspired by Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, and the colors on this definitely remind me of Buzz Lightyear. It's a light purple and a light green, and it's so cute because it gives these sort of little Easter egg vibes, although that's not the point. And also Swampy, it has very subtle, I don't know if you could see it on camera, it has very subtle sort of light pink to light green transition. I'm not an art critic, and I don't have good words for colors, so I can't think of more than one word for pink, so I apologize, but this one is also so cute and I'm definitely going to use this one later. And the last one is Spring. This one also reminds me of Rainbow a little bit, but it's a little bit lighter. It's sort of like a lighter form of Rainbow, but I love it so much. And anyway, thank you, Lily, so much. She even gave me this little cute card. I'm so glad that you like my videos and that you support me because it's really people like you that help me keep doing this. <laughs> and so today I'm going to be making a tutorial with this one. This one is called Firecracker. I absolutely love this shade. It's adorable. It is a mix of blue and purple. And so I'm going to be teaching you a simple tutorial. This is perfect as a beginner bracelet, but I do recommend that this don't be the first bracelet you make, that you start with a candy stripe, and I have a tutorial for a candy stripe on my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm looking at my pattern, which is number 29348 on bracelet.com, and I am seeing that I need two colors in this pattern. It says that I need black thread and pink thread, and of course, since this video is sponsored by Downtown Bracelets, who makes multicolored thread, I'm going to be using her thread in the firecracker. So I'm counting my threads, and I see that I need eight black threads and two pink threads. And since I'm going to be folding my threads in half, this means that I'm going to be needing four black threads and one multicolored thread. So I'm going to take my black thread and my multicolored thread. I'm going to measure each one of them about six feet long. All right, and since this is going to be a beginner's bracelet tutorial, I am not going to make a beginning loop or shaped start. I'm simply going to be folding my strings in half and then making an overhand knot. But if you do want to add a beginning loop to your bracelet or a shaped start, I highly recommend checking out my videos for beginning loops and a shaped start for any pattern, which I've linked down in the description. Here I've made an overhand knot about half an inch wide with this loop and then a knot. So I'll put this loop on my clipboard and then separate the two halves. So I have four black strings and one multicolored string on each side. Now I'm looking in, in the center, it wants me to take one black thread from each side and with the left one to do a forward knot over the other one. Then it wants me to take my multicolored thread and my black thread on the left side, and with the multicolored thread, do a backward forward knot over the black thread. I love this thread so much. The color changes so quickly, which is really nice. With Usually with most other colored threads, the color doesn't change. It only changes like once every foot or so, whereas this one, it's like an inch or two inches. This is really nice. Thank you again for sponsoring this video, Downtown Bracelets. So after you're done with the backward forward knot, then with the same thread, do a forward knot over the black thread in front of it. Next on the right side, Take the multicolored thread and then do a forward backward knot over another one of the black threads. And then do a backward knot over the black thread that you already knotted. And finally, do another backward knot over the middle thread. Finally, with these two black threads that you have left over on the side, take the one closer to the middle and do a backward forward knot 
over the very edge one. Then do two double forward knots. Then with the two black threads on the other side, take the one that's closer to the center and do a forward backward knot over the outermost black thread. Then do two double backward knots. Alright, now on the left side, take the second from the left black thread and do a backward forward knot over the outermost black thread. These black outer threads are going to be functioning as sort of stabilization threads. We're not going to be knotting with these threads, these threads are just going to be knotted over. These are actually the function of the straight edge technique, which Masha Knots has gone into a very detailed video about that. I'll leave that in the description. But these are actually built into the pattern, so you, if you are someone who uses the straight edge technique, you don't have to with this one because it's already built into this pattern. Then take the third string from the left, and then do a double backward knot, and then a backward forward knot. Then with your multicolor thread, do a backward knot. And then a backward forward knot. Then repeat this process on the other side. So take the second to the right thread, and do a forward backward knot over the outer thread. Then take the third most thread from the right and do a double forward knot. And then a forward backward knot over the outer thread. Next, take the multicolored thread that's still in the middle and do a double forward knot and then a forward backward knot. And then with the two black threads in the middle, take the left one and do a double forward knot over the right one. Then with the multicolored thread on the left, do a double forward knot over one of the black threads you just knotted over. And then on the right, do a double backward knot over one of the black threads you just knotted over. And then do another double backward knot over the other multicolored thread. So you're going to repeat this all the way down. This is basically it. It's a very, very simple pattern, but it is a really good pattern for learning how to do forward backward and backward forward knots. I'm just going to be showing you this pattern again because when we started out, it was a little hard to see. So I'm going to be showing it to you again. So now take the second to the outermost black thread on the left side, and you are going to do two double forward knots. Then with the second to the most black thread, do a backward forward knot. Then from the third to the innermost black thread, do a double backward knot. And then a backward forward knot. Then with the multicolored thread, do a double backward knot. And then a backward forward knot. Then with the second to the outermost black thread on the right side, do two double backward knots. Then with the second to the innermost black thread, do a forward backward knot. Then the third innermost black thread, do a double forward knot and then a forward backward knot. Now take the multicolored thread in the middle and do a double forward knot. And then a forward backward knot. Then with the black threads in the middle, not one over the other. Then with the multicolored thread on the left, do a double forward knot. And then with the multicolored thread on the right, do a double backward knot. Alright, 
right now I'm just going to speed up this process for you a little bit while I show you the next couple of segments for this pattern. Alright, so my bracelet is about 5 inches at this point, which is about as long as I want. Now I'm going to take these remaining strings and braid them. Alright, and once you finish braiding your ends, then your bracelet is done. I'm so happy with how this bracelet turned out. It's such a cute and simplistic pattern that's really perfect for beginners. Once you've done the basic candy stripe or chevron, then you can graduate to doing forward backward and backward forward knots with this bracelet. So I really like it. This is perfect for using with multicolored thread, and I especially like the multicolored thread colors that Lily made in her shop downtown bracelets. So again, thank you so much to her for sponsoring this video. You can buy her bracelets down in the link in my description at her Etsy shop downtown bracelets. And you can buy this bracelet on my Etsy, which is Alex's Innovations. If you like this video and want to see more, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep the bracelets coming. Make sure you hit the bell that says all so you're notified for each one of my new videos. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. By contributing just a little bit each month, you can gain exclusive benefits like early access to my videos and bracelets shipped regularly to your front door. My Patreon is Alex's Innovations. The link is in the card and also in the description down below. I just want to give a shout out to my Patreon, Simon. They're amazing and thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you're not already, follow me on Instagram at Alex Innovations. I do polls and surveys there that I later feature in my videos, so by checking out my profile, you can help me make better videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.